yo, what's going on everybody? I'm CZ and thank you for checking out today's video. We've got episode number three of the Pokemon Infinity. I don't know why I said it like that. The Pokemon Infinity Let's Play. Uh, last episode we were able to get two evolutions and a new Pokemon. So the team right above me, as you can see, the cool Ivysaur with the cactus on his back. Staravia, Pikachu, and Psyduck. Um, I think that's actually a super well-rounded team. We're here at this, oh, what is this town even called? Um, let's check what this town's called. I can't remember. I could have just checked the sign, but that's not what I want to do. Alright, Echo Rock. I know that there is a gym here, and I can't remember if there was something else we were supposed to do, but the gym is the priority. Uh, Elder's Temple, Move Teachers? Uh, I definitely want to do that. Check that out. The festival is such a nice tradition for Echo Rock Town. I enjoy the hymns we sing, though I don't think outsiders ever get to hear those. That's fair. Doors, what, what is it? Doors locked what? Doors locked what? There's a note that says Happy Cart. So. How did I? Okay. Yo, we might have had running shoes the whole time and I just never engaged them. Hello, are you for the Koros, Fest Koros Festival? I didn't recognize you. I don't actually live here either, but I grew up here. My name is Gerald. I actually reside in Hayesport City. I grew up here, so I'm still allowed to attend. It also helps that I'm an ego elder. We're usually allowed to go where we please. That's fair. Lucky duck. Did this guy's insane thing? Huh. May I serve you? What do you got? Ooh, I don't need any of that. It's an astral stone. Yo, what is this? Amethyst stone? A particular stone that makes certain species of Pokemon evolve. It has cosmic vibes. Do we have enough money for it? Yes, we do. I don't know if we're ever going to need it, but I want it. Just in case. And then the amethyst as well. Uh, one skull stone that evolves certain species of Pokemon goes with a magenta hue. Yes, I would like that. Just in case. A slowpoke tail. That's funny. Rage candy bar. What the heck is this? Special soft serve ice cream making. That is promising. Uh, I don't need anything else. Thank you, though. I know in my back pocket we have what we need to evolve Pikachu, but I just don't want to do it yet. I think Dialga and Giratina also need some recognition for the way they help to protect us, but you wouldn't catch me saying that in this town, especially on this day. Oh, hey, those look like the, um, Asia girls from, uh, Gold. Please don't mess up our rhythm. <laughs> we protect it. Okay, well, I'm not even going to talk to anybody anymore. We have the festival every year. I'd rather be sleeping than wasting time praising the same Pokemon we praised for years. Wow. Hot take. It's cool that Gerald and another ego, it is ego, right? <laughs> Elder visits during the festival. I wonder if he'd be up for a battle. I tried. There's no way of getting around. If you're looking for the Elder, he's preparing for the festival. You want to come back at a different time. Challenge him. Well, that's stupid. We went all the way. Let's go check these people out. Some people in ego believe that Dialga or Garantina are thankful, are, th are too thankful for protecting the island all those years ago. Those people are wrong. Palki is the one who deserves the credit. Okay. I assume that this dude is going to say something similar. I live in it. I go rock my whole life, so of course I'm going to support Palkia and Dying Loyal. Okay. Someday I'm going to train the, in the dojo and become a strong battle girl. Fair. Door's locked. Dojo is closed while we... What do we do then? Just go around? Literally everywhere. Wait, hold on. Here we go. Gotta be something to do in here. I'm the Pokemon Move Maniac. I know every single move Pokemon know growing up. I'm also an avid fan of Orenberries. If you bring me one, I'll teach a move to one of your Pokemon. Is it? That's an honest goodness Orenberry, so come on. Yes, so come yet so delicious. I love them. Let me guess, you want me to teach one of your Pokemon a move? Yeah. I don't know, like we're not gonna know anything special, right? Yeah. That's dumb. That's done for me right now, I should say that. In the future, that will be actually really cool. Hello, sweetie. I'm the move to leader. Noted. That's all fantastic news. Okay, so I just assume that we have to go down here and there's no other place. Yo, I'm... S I'm a little confused. I'm a little lost. I'm a little confused. I feel like it's this dude, but... Oh, I suppose I can battle you now if you'd like. Yes, I would like. 
Was this the whole thing? I had to talk to him twice? As a different end new? Alright, so he's flying. I definitely cannot. I cannot mess with that vibe. Um... I can't remember what other type he is. That was quite a bit of damage. Gosh dang it. I didn't see what move he used first, but if it was Bulldoze, I'm gonna be mad because that's just... That was just a waste. Knockoff did that much? Like Pokemon Sage all over again. I don't have. So dumb. Uh. I just am always so underprepared, I feel like. Delta Rock should hurt me when I fly, I would think. Alright, 50 down to. What? <laughs> I genuinely just don't understand. How could wing attack do that much damage to me? Absolutely mind blowing. One, okay. But 24, I have enough to do it. Maybe it's probably gonna. <laughs> such a good time and wing attack is absolutely gonna annihilate us one hit KO bet unless this one hit KOs works <laughs> get out of here you get right out of town all right let's go ahead and heal and try this again we're gonna lead with Pikachu Jeez, dude. What an absolute nightmare. Alright, 
Ini untuk ahli kota Bogor. And I know in the back pocket I can evolve Pikachu, but I don't know if that's gonna be worth. You know what I just I legitimately just thought about. So in the anime, in the anime, Ash comes up against Lieutenant Surge, and he can't beat Lieutenant Surge's Pikachu. So he debates on evolving Pikachu to help him win. I'm legitimately debating on evolving Pikachu so I can win. Which is really funny because I love Raichu, he's my favorite Pokemon, and it's also really funny because I love Raichu because of that episode. Man, should I evolve him? Let's try it one more time, and if we can't win this time, we'll evolve Pikachu. Dang, guys. Like, I'm actually... Like, I'm not mad. I'm frustrated. I just don't understand. I hate when I can't figure things out. But I did say we were going to evolve Pikachu, so... How does Psyduck evolve? Does he evolve from a water stone? I want to say that he does. Alright, here we go. Guys, <laughs> I should be more happy. I'm getting my favorite Pokemon. I should be happy, right? He's a cute boy. He's your last thunderstorm. Here's the thing, guys. That dude said, I wonder what happens if you put our Firestone next to Raichu. Well, my friends, find out. It says Abel. But wait! Raichu doesn't evolve. In this game, he does. In this game, he evolves. And guess what? This right here, ladies and gentlemen, is the reason why we are playing Pokemon Infinity. Because of this Pokemon right here. Dude, tell me that is not the coolest Pokemon of all time. Tell me he's not the coolest Pokemon of all time. Look at him. Gorichu. Now, fun fact. In Pokemon Red, Pikachu was supposed to evolve into Raichu and then evolve again into Gorichu. And this is a, an artist rendering of the back sprite and the front sprite. That was left in the game code. So this Pokemon was intended to be real. I don't know if he was supposed to be fire type or not, but I highly doubt it. But look at that dude. Raichu is my favorite Pokemon. Gorichu is my favorite. I don't even know what you want to call him. Was supposed to be Pikachu. Oh, I'm, I'm super happy. But at the same time, dang it. <laughs> uh, uh, where did we get? I don't know. Let's try, let's try it now. I don't know if that's gonna do anything. Our our HP was still really low. Oh my gosh, I'm frustrated. I'm so happy and I'm so frustrated. Okay, we'll do the same thing. If we Um, I think I was, I mean, there's nothing I can do. He has to, I need a free switch in. Saravia's not going to do anything. 
Bulldoze is gonna knock us out. I don't want to send Engorchu yet. Just to ensure we get a little damage off. We go real low. So he's gonna- I'm gonna get him down into yellow, and he's going to super poke. Yep. Okay, now if he does a super potion here, we endeavor. Yo, this might be the play. Because now I'm going to endeavor, and he's going to bring him down to where we're at. And he's not going to potion again. Take him down a little bit more. Okay, so we need to live one hit. Or send out our tank. I was gonna go straight barb. Oh, and we got the poison. One down. Fortune to 17. We switch Pokemon. Okay, so. We gotta try it, right? We absolutely have to. Wow, that is a lot. I don't know why- I was getting ready to look at the type chart, but like, I d does it even matter? Sada's gonna knock me out. <laughs> Flying is two times weak. The lightning. How in the world? He has aerial ace, so he can't miss. I can't health stall him. I'm gonna have to fresh water. I'm gonna have to put it on Ivysaur. Staravia is gone. Why did I think Staravia was still in this? I'm the only way around this is to health stall. And that's assuming he gets poisoned. And doesn't faint me instantly. I just, I don't... Even with 50, that puts me at 54... Real run! Okay, I don't understand that. That should have done way more. We're fresh watering. I don't care. I'll I'll let you poison yourself to death. Basada, it's over. But now if he facades, it's over again. That'll put me to 52, and he clearly can do more than 52. But he drill run? So does Facade get stronger the more it goes, or is it... Dude, how... The most confusing place ever! That's how we... I don't even care that's how we won. I don't even care that's how we won. Oh my god. That was such a pain in the butt. That was mentally exhausting and frustrating. Splendid, looks like you're off to a good start. I suppose I can award you with the quill badge. You're lucky that I always carry a few extra on me. Sheesh, dude. That badge will allow you to fly around Ego, but only to places you visited. If the more badges you seek, you'll have to challenge the other four elders. One of them lives here in town, but won't take battles during the festival. Speaking of, I'd love to return my attention to the events at hand. If you'd like more of a challenge battle, seek me out in Hayesport City after the festival. 
Oh my gosh, ladies and gentlemen, that was a roller coaster. More of a, like a down than anything else, but still. Holy crap. That was, I don't even, I don't even know. Bad luck? On, on his part? Like, I don't know why the computer chose to do those moves. Oh wait, there was somebody Okay. Let's think here a second. Where are we supposed to go? Ew. I've never ever liked you. Okay, so it gave us fly, so it's like assuming we're gonna fly. Guess we'll go south. We'll try. See what we, we can do. We'll stop by. Stop by homeboy and see what he says. Hey there, kid. Have a good time in... Echo Rock? Got a fancy badge, I bet. Very cool. So proud. Anyway, on the important stuff, Wormwood told me that they found you in Genesis Forest, so apparently this is where we're supposed to be. A little bit, uh, that's a little bit to the southeast of Haydust Town. You know, that town that Wormwood brought you to? It has the aroma of dry hay. Hard to forget, I think. Right, so head to the forest and see if that jars any memories loose. That's the short-term plan. Long-term plan is going to take a little bit more planning. As of right now, you may want to focus on getting more of those badges. Without the badges, you'll be restricted on where you can go. So far, my plan is going to require your, you to run some uh, errands for me, or uh, us. So is it just me, or does this dude seem kind of shady? Like, I feel like I'm helping him do something else. He's not helping me, he's... Yo! Okay, low-key. Actually, high-key, I guess. No keys at all. Theory. I've not watched any of these episodes past, like, the first hour, okay? So I don't know anything about this game. I bet that I used to be his assistant or something, where he tricked me into being his assistant, and we were doing something really bad, and I lost my memory, and now I'm trying to help him get his stuff back. I don't know. Uh, after the Crows Festival and Eco Echo Rock is done, you'll be able to challenge their Elder for another badge. Those energy sources can be found in a few places around Ego, but you'll need the badges in order to reach those places. I don't want to muddy your objective, so I'll just leave it at that. If you head south from Haydust Town and loop back around Echo Rock Town, that should be enough enough time for the festival to be over. Plus, like I said before, the more places you visit, the more likely your memory may recover. Hello? Hello? That's creepy. Unfortunately, you may take a bit longer than anticipated. Just bear with me. I'm confident that the plan thus far will prove effective. We're just going to have to play the long game. I'm going to keep prepping my equipment once once you get the badge from Echo Rock. Come let me know. Okay, so he is really long-winded. We need to go to Hay Dust, is what he said. Hay Dust. Right? Hay Dust? Which was this one, right? And then go this way. Is that what he's talking about? I don't know. We're just gonna go there. Okay. Um, should we go see... Let's see what Wormwood is doing. Maybe he's... Got some information for us. Sell the computer. I hope you've been busy using... I hope you've been using that fly move I gave you. It makes traveling around Ego a lot easier. That's how I got here, babe. Aw, oh, you've decided to collect the badges from the Ego Elders? A fine idea, and a classic one for trainers like you. That desire for competition will push you far. I hope you're having luck working with Professor Thorne. I know they can... Look, I... The wording is weird. I know he can be a tad erratic. But that didn't give us any help at all. We go, he said, south? We've had enough training. Now we battle. So I think we are supposed to go south. One, we live on one. We live on one. Holy moly. You're not gonna say anything? Alright, two seconds, I'm gonna heal. Wait, I can heal up here, right? Alright, hopefully this is the way. Let's 
Seems like it, guys. The air around here is dusty. Nice to meet you, too. Quick break. Because why not? And that's why. Let's go. Alright, Gortrude, now we're starting to put, put people in their place. Go. Farm? I saw me little lighty down there. Oh, I'm sorry. I tend to, tend to zone out when I'm focused on my work to the point where I don't even reply. Did you need something? Yes, I do. Sorry, I can't help you. I'm busy. Fair enough. Looking for a machoke. Want to trade it for a haunter? Dude, if I had a machoke, I would definitely trade you. I like my champs, but I like Gengar's way better. Way better. Okay, what's this lady selling? South of here is a beach, but you'll need to have a Pokemon that knows how to surf. I plan to go any further than that. Noted. Battle this person. Magnitude. Five? Okay. Yo! <sighs> What an episode, dude. We went from, like, not being able to beat anybody to flying through people. That was just... Okay. The plateau. Oh, wait, how do I get over there? Jump down? Oh, that's what... I need to keep remember... I need to remember that that's what those spots are for. Yo, wild charge? I'm pretty sure that that does a lot of damage, but it also hurts me. But still, I need a like a dope move. Or Pikachu. Or two. The user shrouds itself in electricity and smashes into the foe. It also damages a little bit. No, wait, no, no, no. Okay, wrong move. Let's get rid of Thunder Wave would be so good for helping us catch Pokemon. Quick attack isn't a but I <laughs> All right, we're getting rid of them. I think we'll be all right. Catch up. If we need to, we can fly back to whatever. If we can fly back and learn it. That that makes me excited. Great. Plateau. And this is where they found me? Are you new around here? If you head up the Pebble, Pebble Dust Cave, I hear it leads back to Haydust Town. Otherwise, you can, lean, you can head down the cliff and go to the Genesis Forest. There we go. I need to go to the cliff. Yeah, there's a dot, so that means I can go up there. Boros, that's dope. I don't want to avoid people right now. Dang it. Let's do another magnitude, and that should be it for you. Fantastic. Good game. Have to go this way. Uh. Crap! Yo, I hope that house right there is actually a place that we can heal. That's exactly what this feels like. He lets me get two of them off in a row. There we go. I think that I had a chance, but we got a crit, so about time. Dang, Claire. You're more annoying than I am. Carbos, okay. Sunkern. Do we have a grass Pokemon? Duh. Oh my god, that was a dumb thing to say. There's a cave there. I don't care about the cave. Pokeball on the table. Can I have it? A lot of my family have worked on these lands for years. We don't venture out of our bubble too often. If you'd be willing, we have a Pokemon that really deserves to travel more. If you'd be willing to take them, their Pokeball is sitting on the table. I'm actually going to end it right here. This is a really good cliffhanger to end the episode on. I've already been recording for an hour. That elder took an insane amount of time. I'm still, I'm still flustered by it, but leave a like if you enjoyed the video, comment down below letting me know how much you're enjoying this new series, and let me know how much you like Gorchu. He's my favorite unofficial Pokemon coming from my favorite official Pokemon. Yeah, I said that right. He's, he's super dope, dude. I can't wait to play with him. 
Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Make sure you click the bell icon so you know as soon as all these videos are uploaded. And of course, make sure you check out my card opening videos. Those are always popping off. We're always pulling some good stuff. With all that being said, guys, I'll check you in the next one.